This is a case study about deep infiltrating endometriosis. Bowel deep infiltrating endometriotic nodule and uterosacral ligament nodule. This is a diagram showing the posterior compartment of the female pelvis. Uterosacral ligaments insert into the uterus at the level of the internal os of the cervix, just above the posterior vaginal fornix. When the uterosacral ligament is normal, it is typically not visualized on ultrasound. Transvaginal scan showed bowel deep infiltrating endometriotic nodule, thickened muscularis layer. Normal bowel should have a consistently thin and regular muscularis layer of less than 3 mm. This is a transvaginal ultrasound image of the normal rectum bowel layers. This is a small right uterosacral ligament deep infiltrating endometriotic nodule. Key points to remember. Measure and document the distance of the bowel nodules from the anus. The distance is important as bowel lesions located lesser than 5 to 8 centimeters from anal verge are associated with significant post-operative complications. Bowel nodules typically affect the anterior rectum, rectosigmoid and the sigmoid. These nodules can be isolated or multifocal. Endometriosis of the bowel is characterized by initial invasion of the hypoechoic muscularis layer of the bowel wall. Deeper invasion can infiltrate the hyperechoic submucosal and hypoechoic mucosal layers. Thanks for watching and God bless. Like and subscribe to see more sonography videos.